Welcome to a brand new video and this is going to be a very festive one. It's going to be quite chilled but hopefully fill you with a lot of festive feelings because today we're going to be decorating my house for Christmas. I wanted to do this in like a kind of relaxed vlog style video i've got little elements of christmas here and there which i'll talk you through but also the big thing is the tree that we're going to be decorating today i try and save doing my decorations until the first of december i feel like that's been a tradition in our house so i know quite a few of you were anticipating this video sooner rather than later maybe next year i can bring it forward but with the house move and everything this is really the soonest that i could film this video and get it up for you guys i have loads of new in things to show you i have my last year's decorations to bring out from the basement downstairs so lots to do but i just wanted to firstly thank pantan for very kindly sponsoring today's video you may have noticed in the shower this morning i was using the pantan pro v range the hair biology range which they have a variety of different formulas to suit your hair type i personally am using the silver and glowing which has jojoba oil antioxidants and it is suited to blonde gray and white hair so i've mentioned this before but i always without fail use a purple shampoo in my hair care routine when you have blonde hair if you want to keep out those yellow brassier kind of tones the best thing to do that is by using a purple shampoo so this one is the one that i have been using if you are unsure on which are the best products for you they do have a hair advisor area on their website where you can input details about your hair type and they can recommend based on your answers the hair biology range also has three other formulas cleanse and reconstruct defrizz and illuminate and full and vibrant the cleanse and reconstruct one is great for if you tend to get greasier roots and damaged lengths defrizz and and illuminate is good for if you suffer with like frizzy hair and if you have colored hair as well that can get a bit dry the full and vibrant range is great for if you again have colored hair but also if you lack volume and you just want that extra oomph so Pantene really does cover all grounds when it comes to your hair type. So if you want to ensure that you are using the right hair products for your hair, you can have virtual consultations online to help improve your hair radiance and health, providing more people with great hair days. Because let's face it, when you have a good hair day, it honestly can set your tone for the rest of the day. At least it can for me. I always double shampoo and then for the conditioner, I alternate between this conditioner and also sometimes I'll go in with the illuminating mask. You apply this to wet hair, leave on for two minutes, then rinse off thoroughly. So if I want an extra hit of hydration, I'll usually go in with this one once a week. So I will leave a link in the description box if you want to discover the perfect product for your hair type from Pantene Hair Biology range. Thank you so much to them for kindly sponsoring this part of the video. Make sure to check out that link in the description box and let's get on to Christmas decorations. What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas, and 
Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true. That's why I cheer. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now it's time to have a merry holiday. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. Okay, first little hurdle that I've come across. The tree skirt that I've just picked up from the range doesn't fit at the bottom of the tree. So I love the look of this like wicker. $9.99, they're sold out online as well. So the fact that I managed to find this one, I was so happy. But it doesn't fit that little metal bit at the bottom of the tree, which is disappointing. So I don't know whether to keep this for maybe a real tree. Yeah, I will, I'll keep it because I know that I'll struggle to get one like this for that price as well. And then maybe use um, an older tree skirt or like some kind of a rug maybe on the bottom of that. Might even just be next year that we actually get around to getting a real tree as well as that tree. That could be like my filming room tree because this one's quite um, narrow and small. We got it last year from being q If you wanted to get your hands on it yourself too, they should still have it. I'm assuming they will. I bought up all of our decorations, decoration boxes because a bit of a mismatch of Halloween type decorations, autumn decorations and Christmas decorations so I need to have a sort through of them and you know like properly organize them into Halloween-y autumn bits of which I have a couple of things out which I'm going to put in those boxes and put them down in the basement. So that is those two boxes and I've actually just spotted there's some tea lights in there and I was after some tea lights so that's handy. I'm going to actually build the bulk of the tree and put the lights on and then decorate with you guys but I thought I would just maybe like haul some of the new in bits that I've got first. I swear I tried to avoid glitter and it somehow worms its way into the Christmas decoration pile. Um, so a couple of things from last year that you may remember. The beautiful beaded star from Home Bargains. The bauble box that I got is also from Home Bargains. Really handy. I'm probably going to pick myself up another one of these this year. Um, it just allows you to separate the layers and pop all your baubles in here. So most of my baubles, pretty much all of them, are from the range. But a few pretty little bit more expensive ones which will be from... Home Sense TK Maxx. I also have this little Zara shoe bag, which also has a couple more of the bigger um, baubles in. So very much theme style for my tree. Comes as no surprise. It's gonna be like silvery champagne gold. So I did get a few new additions this year. First thing from the range that I picked up is the tree that they do for $9.99. It's a glass bowl, which you can pop in their fairy lights. You could pop in some like twigs and kind of foliage. Ooh, it is glass. Um, so I personally uh, like to put lint chocolates in. So I've got three boxes of these lint white ones. I got this color mainly because it's obviously then gold and it looks all festive. But also because Tom doesn't really eat white chocolate. So I'm hoping that if I stock the cupboards full of chocolates, he won't snack on these and will actually make them last. I don't have high hopes, but we will see. God, three boxes I thought was gonna be plenty, but actually it's quite a lot to fill in this uh, tree bowl. Yay! Oh no, we've lost one. That'll do for now. I could definitely get a couple more boxes actually. But I also picked up a couple of other things. They have some amazing Christmas cards, so I've got one for my mum and dad. I also picked up some plain gift tags that they have from the craft section for you to personalise. I just like the fact that they're on plain white card with beige string. Nice and simple and neutral. And then I've got loads of decorations, loads of baubles. But before I show you them, I decided this year, I know this is a bit extra and it's definitely a step that not a lot 
lot of people will take. But from the range, I picked up some sets of ribbon. This is like a kind of um, mesh type ribbon where it's a bit see-through, a bit Christmassy. So I picked up the thinnest ones I could find in black and white. Um, I was hoping to find some velvet ribbon this size, but I couldn't find any. And I'm actually going to switch out. I know this is going to take a while, but... I'll put on the Christmas songs, maybe a Christmas movie in the background. But all of these little kind of silvery loops that they do to be able to hang the decoration on the tree, I'm gonna switch them out for black and white ribbon. I feel like that will just give it more of the luxe feel. The range baubles, the selection that they have is just incredible. They are by far the nicest, especially of all the budget Christmas decorations. So look at this one. This is absolutely stunning. I was tempted to get a few of these, but what I've decided to do is just pick up one of each sort of style that I liked. Because I, for one, I couldn't remember exactly which baubles I already had. But for two, I, I like the idea of having a tree full of the same colour, but of all different mismatched baubles. So if I were to get any more, I'd probably go in multiples of like odd numbers. One, three, five. But yeah, I love this one. This one's £1.29. This one is also £1.29 and it's just full of beaded glitter kind of design. Then this one is £1.49. It's more of like a teardrop shape. Really pretty with a little glass beading at the top. I got one of these like droplet ones. I'm kind of wishing I got a couple more of these actually. I'll show you them closer up so you can see. Really pretty again, that kind of beaded glittery effect. That was only 99p that one. And then I got a set of four acrylic clear clear water droplet decorations. This pack of four was only a pound. Then I got this one from the Aurora range, which they do at the range, which is a little bit more expensive, not by much. Uh, this one's £1.89 and it's just clear glass with a little beading kind of snowdrop effect at the top. I also picked up this one. I don't remember seeing this one last year. It is £1.99. They had loads of these available. So they're like a champagne gold pine cone. Really, really pretty. But imagine this, but with a black ribbon tie. And also these are only about a pound each. So I also picked up this kind of pearl beaded one at £1.29. Nice and big and chunky that one. This one's a little bit more of a silvery gunmetal kind of gold. There is definitely some gold in there as well though. So that's why I picked up that one at £1.79. This one also was £1.79. And again, just to change up, make a bit of variety with the different shape. Again, this one's got more of a teardrop shape to it. As does this one, but this one's a baby one at £1.19. And it's got the kind of glass... Um, wispy glass on the inside with some beaded jewels on top and again that teardrop shape this one is uh, again yet another shape just to add a bit of dimension £1.29 this one is and it's got all the beading on the top and a kind of quilted design diamond design on the glass part this one is a sparkle snowflake at £1.79 and it's super pretty this one the fact that it's predominantly clear I love then I've got this one at £1.89. This one's got a lot of um, like white running through it. This one fits in nicely with my favourite ribbed kind of glass design that I'm loving. £1.79. It's got loads of kind of beaded crystally glitter to tie in with all of the others. And it is ribbed all around. Again, like a kind of icicle longer design with a few jewels inside and on the top. And just perfectly clear glass nice and simple then this one is a 3d sort of snowflake again in glass or acrylic is it acrylic this one i feel like it is this one was two pound 89 i know it's glass one pound 99 this one is and this is the last and final one i love the kind of subtle frosting on that beautiful i'll show you actually what i've already got laid out i do have a bit of a window display but i'm not going to show you that because that's in my poundland video um, if it's not already live, it will be coming soon. And I've decorated, I've basically done like a window display scene, festive type scene with everything from Poundland. I've got these little stags, which I've just put out. They've still got the labels on. I don't think I properly put them out last year, but I'm pretty sure they were from Home Bargains. My sack from Cherries, my little home village display collection will soon grow, but I've obviously got that little one there. This from Home Sense, some Christmassy snacks. This potpourri, which I put in one of the IKEA 
baskets that I got for £6 recently from Ikea and hidden behind there is a little fir tree oil which you basically just put a little drops on your fir tree potpourri to help keeping it smell fresh. I can still smell that though, it smells beautiful. And then on the top of this mantelpiece we've got this from HomeSense, little uh, charity shop find that one, my Asda wax melt, these wax melt tea light things from Asda. Three pound for a big bag of like 20 tea lights or something. But they're really good because they're really deep. They burn for eight hours, which is really handy when you want to use it for your, I need to put that in the bin really. When you want to use it for your wax melts. And then we have this mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. A little bobble candle and another little kind of home there, all from varying hauls that you'll have seen me do over the past couple of months. So yes, this is my little festive mantelpiece setup. I'm going to demolish those now, build the tree, put the lights on and be back with you to decorate it soon. new day I thought I would get it all done in a day but putting up the tree untangling the lights sorting all that out took a lot longer and I wanted to make sure to film the decorate with me part of today's video in terms of decorating the tree in natural daylight so it started getting really dark and I just thought you know what I'll leave it to the tree the lights I've realized that compared to the house we were in where we needed quite a tall narrow tree to kind of fit within a bit of like an alcove we didn't really need one like that in this house so I feel like it looks a little small in the space that it's in but that's okay that's just this year I'd love eventually for this to be like the nice posh carpeted living room dining room with a big grand tree here in the bay window where you guys are currently sat so that like as people are walking past they can see the beautiful tree all lit up but that will be hopefully next year i have an event this morning on zoom with joe malone so i thought i would include maybe just a couple of little clips in here in this vlog because it is going to be festive i'll show you what they sent us and we're going to be doing Christmas cracker making which I think is just the sweetest especially as they've included little like samples of pomegranate noir that you can put in the crackers so I'm excited for that I feel like I'm gonna feel all festive I've got my toffee nut latte on the go it's actually really hot it's a bit too hot to drink just yet and yeah I'm feeling really positive I'm excited for decorating the tree today it's quite nice that I've broken it up into two days so that I can fully appreciate and enjoy decorating the tree sometimes it can be a bit stressful putting up the actual tree and doing all the lights so now it's a brand new day and i'm excited you how to create these gorgeous personalized christmas crackers to add a bit of festive sparkle to your tablescaping and it's christmas here yeah it's definitely christmas here. <laughs> So you're ready to see my final result. I've actually done them for some friends. So I put their initials on, which I thought was a cute idea. 
And here they are, how pretty. So you've got a little Jo Malone um, pomegranate noir sample in there. A little Christmas, it's not a joke, but it's like um, little quote type things that you could pop in. And then I guess you could always just pop uh, a joke on the back. And then I have two more colors, which I could make up a black one and like a lighter champagne gold one. Tom's just making a racket in the kitchen over there. Where even are you? Hiya. <laughs> so it's really nice to check in with the Jo Malone team, make our little Christmas crackers, finish my coffee now. So I'm going to head over to the front room and finally get on to decorating the tree. Look what's just arrived. Yay. I actually ordered two by accident. I saw everyone was getting theirs. And I've had in the past um, a brochure request I've submitted and then it not arrive. So I thought with everyone getting theirs, I thought I was just missing out. So I tried requesting a brochure again, two turned up at the same time. So I'll give one um, probably to my mum or something, but yay, Christmas white company brochure. Oh my God, it makes me feel so festive. Oh look, those pine cone decorations. They're just like the ones that I picked up from the range. Ooh, nice. I wonder how much they are. Oh, here we go. Large glass pine cone, eight pounds they are. How much was my one from the range? One pound 99. Little white company dupe for you there. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually switch over all of the, I feel like this is gonna take me a while actually, so I might put a Christmas film on my laptop in front of me whilst I do it. But, um, switch over all of these strings to the ribbon that I got from the range. And then also, I forgot to show you the other day, to add to my little White House collection. A lot of you guys recommended Wilco's. They have two. I could only find one, and this was a while ago. I just forgot to show you. Um, so maybe like when restrictions are eased or when they come back in stock online, I will go and purchase the smaller one to sit next to it. But again, it's just another little tea light holder with the tea light section at the back. I can't imagine me lighting all of these because with each house that I get with it being a tea light, it would take a while to light them all. Um, but I feel like if I just move you up to the mantelpiece, I'm just kind of playing around with this area as my somewhat little villagey scene type setup. I actually feel like, hmm, I actually feel like this one might go quite nicely behind this one at the bottom. So I've moved you up and you can't even see. Behind here. And I've got all my cherries ones to, to bring out as well, which I might put on the windowsill. My white company magazines I've just put there for now. Oh, I've got this white Christmas tree as well. I feel like there's too many Christmas trees going on here. Maybe if I bring this just into the front room, so we don't have that in here, and then put that back there. Maybe the little tree, the white one behind it, or the other way around actually, put that one back there. That one in front, and then these two cute little houses here. What I'll do for now, I'll um, keep this one here for now though, to keep me company during the decorating. <laughs> done in terms of the ribbon changeover so this is I think I'm pretty sure there might be a couple of odd baubles here and there but I'm pretty sure that this is the majority of the baubles that will go on the tree I really want to just keep it super simple this year minimal and not too much extra stuff like the poinsettias the feather boas the tinsel everything like that that I've used in the past I've just still got but I just feel like this year I want to strip it back and go neutral and like really quite bare. 
So I feel like after Christmas, I might even have a bit of a sort through of my baubles and maybe donate a load of decorations because there's no point me having them at Christmas when I'm not even using them at Christmas, if you see what I mean. Although in future, I probably will be having multiple trees. I would love one day to do like an all red and gold and green theme. Um, I'm just trying to find a picture for inspo. Okay, here we go. This one is quite simple. In front of the log fire, plain and simple baubles and lights. That's all it is. There's no extra decoration. Is there a tree on a star on top? Yeah, okay, there's a little hanging star on top, like a beaded one. So what I might do is put this beaded star, hang that on top in the same way. Got this one from Home Bargains last year, so I might do that. Super simple, stripped back bear, and I'm excited. That's the front door. So the first step that I'm gonna do in terms of dressing the tree is by popping on these centicles in the scent White Winter Fur. Oh my gosh, so nice. And then also I forgot um, that I have these baubles which I got from TK Maxx. I knew they were somewhere. This one already has a black velvet ribbon on which is so beautiful. Then we've got some like glass kind of snowflakes and some beaded designs. And if you remember, I got these as well. So I'm gonna pop one of these in our downstairs loop. I also wanna hang these stockings from Home Bargains. I'm thinking, obviously, mantelpiece, one on each side, but I'm either gonna to have to get like a stocking hanger or a bit of tape or something to, to put those up. But oh my God, they're so luxurious. I just wanna cuddle them. <laughs> So here we have it, the finished tree. Oh, I love it. I still need to get a tree skirt, but we'll just ignore that for now. <laughs> oh, I think it's so pretty. I love all the kind of minimal beaded and glass decorations. I think they're super chic. Look how pretty, like they kind of reflect the lights as well. So pretty. And I love my little star on top. I'm glad I went for that. It was nice and easy as well. Let me know which is the bauble or decoration that jumps out for you. For me personally, I don't know what it is, but something about this little pine cone that is just so pretty. The fact that I put it on the black um, ribbon as well. I just love it. And it's only like a bargain one from the range as well. I feel like I could have got maybe a couple more of those to scatter around. And one thing to note about the ribbon, I'm still on the first two sets of the black and white. So I definitely did not need to pick up that many, but obviously I can put them away for future, so that's fine. But yeah, just if you were wanting to do this little hack yourself. So here we have my finished little Christmas setup in this room. I've decided to just kind of cover the bottom of the tree with a cream colored blanket, just because the metal part and the wires that are on show were just not a vibe. So until we get a good wicker tree skirt, that just kind of covers up the metal. And then I put the Christmas sack, the little stags over to the right, and then everything else on this mantelpiece. I'm loving the little white houses. Definitely wanna grow my collection and get a whole village. So keep the recommendations coming on where I can find those. My white company potpourri in that little basket is smelling delightful, along with the centicles that are in the tree. They're just kind of like hidden in the middle. And then on the top, we've got another Christmas tree, a little gonk from the range and some more little white houses, which will eventually grow my own little white house village. I'd love it if you would tag me in your pictures of how you style up your white company Christmas brochures. And of course, pictures for those of you that also switch up the baubles to have the ribbon. So there we have it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're feeling super festive and thank you once again to Pan 10 for very kindly sponsoring today's video. I will leave the products featured linked down in the description box for you guys to shop if you want to check them out. I am planning on doing more vlogs throughout December in a little mini kind of vlogmas series. I'm not going to be doing daily vlogs but I'm hopefully going to be doing weekly vlogs. So if you like the vlogs and you want to see more about the house updates and things then stay tuned for that by subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy my little festive decorate with me 2020 and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!